Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, set up email link click tracking on your website uh, using GA4 and Google Tag Manager. It's really super easy to do. It's one of the simple um, and most easiest kind of uh, tracking that you can set up. I'm going to show you how to do it today. Um, but before we get into it, just a quick word from our sponsors. We don't have any sponsors, let's get into it. Um, I'm gonna try and do it as quickly as possible. I'm gonna share my screen um, and just show you how easy it is um, and how fast you can get it done. Um, so you'll see that we have, we're visiting My Fake Shop again, which is a fake e-commerce store, which we use for these uh, tutorial examples. Now, what about if you're on your website and you have an email address that you want to you know, track interactions on, right? So you wanna see in your GA4 account, how many people are actually clicking on your email address that you have listed on your site. Now, an email address is usually featured, say, on the contact page. Sometimes it's in the footer of the site. Sometimes it's in the header of the site. Either way, this will work. Um, you just need to follow these steps that I'm gonna show you. Um, so first things first, you're gonna need Google Analytics 4. You're gonna need Google Tag Manager and of course your website. So just make sure that you've got GA4 implemented on your site and also make sure that you've got a Google Tag Manager implemented on your site. Um, first, open up Google Tag Manager. So once you're in Google Tag Manager, the first thing that we're going to do is configure the variables, right? So if you have not already done this, you need to go to variables on the left-hand side and configure in the built-in variables section. You need to scroll down and just make sure that you've got all of the click uh, variables selected, clicked. And while you're there, you can also do forms as well. Why not? Um, and then close that down. Then once you've got all of these variables, we can then build a trigger. And the trigger that I want you to build is a clicks, all clicks trigger, right? So you click on a new, uh, new trigger, okay? I've got one already here, so. Uh, but you click on new, this will bring up, name it, clicks all clicks, and then just go to the trigger type and click all elements and then all clicks and you can save that. Once you've saved it and you've got that trigger, we can then go to the preview mode on Google Tag Manager. So we're going to go to preview and this will bring up the Google Tag Assistant uh, debug, um, the Google Tag, Tag, Tag Assistant preview mode and debug view. Um, and we can connect our domain. So type your website in, connect that, and that will open that up in a new tab, which is the debug window, right? So now we can actually see and interact with our site. Let's go ahead and go to the contact page, which features our email address, and then go and make a click on that email address. Now, when you click on an email address, it usually brings up your um, email provider, just like it has for me. So I'll just come back over to you very quickly. and. You should see me back with you now, and we're going to go to the second tab, the Tag Assistant tab, and we're going to take a look at the clicks, right? So we can see there's actually two clicks that have documented here. There's the, the click that we've got, which is the click variable, uh, which is click. So we can see that we, we have a, a, an actual click event, but we also have the link click event. I believe the link click event you should see automatically actually anyway. So. Um, you won't have to set up a variable for that. But the reason why we can have a click is because then it, it allows us to kind of click on other things across um, across the site as well. So it's always good to have that. But either way, we can set up um, this uh, GA4 event using Google Tag Manager on either of these two events, right, um, in, uh, the, in GTM, in, in, in Google Tag Manager. We just need to pick out a variable Okay, so if you click on the link click one and then go to variables, we can actually pick out some key information that we can use, a variable information that we can use to filter out and build a trigger that's gonna fire a tag that we're gonna set up. So the trigger could be um, using the information, say like the click URL, right? So we could use click URL and we know that it's a mail to link. So it's a link that goes um, uh, straight to your mailbox and encourages people to, to email you. I'm just going to copy that for now, but I'm going to go back over to Google Tag Manager. I'm in triggers again, but this time I'm going to go to new trigger and I'm going to go uh, email uh, link click. And 
uh, trigger configuration this time, I'm just going to click just links, okay? But I'm going to filter for some links, and I'm going to go back over and just check it was click URL. So I'm only going to filter that this is only going to this trigger is only going to fire when the click URL contains that mail to link. Okay, so it's only going to fire when that particular uh, thing is clicked, right? So it's 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 basically only going to fire when that is clicked, and therefore it's a trigger that we know that's only fired when somebody's actually clicked that email address. Right, save that, and then we can go to tags. When we go to tags, we're going to be setting up a new, so go to new, GA4 tag, okay, so go to uh, tag configuration, Google Analytics, GA4 event. This is where we need to go and provide our measurement ID. So if you go to your uh, Google Analytics account, if you go to your admin section, which is down in the bottom corner, head to data streams, from data streams, you click on your website data stream, go ahead and grab your measurement ID on the right hand side. Then if you go back to Tag Manager, paste your measurement ID in, and then we need to give this event a name. It needs to be lowercase and we need to use underscores. So if we have a space, right? So um, let's go for uh, link, click, email okay or email link click whatever you prefer and the triggering is going to be the trigger that we've just built so it's going to be the email link click trigger that we've just built now come up with the naming convention that you can use across all of your tags in this case i'm going to do it quite easy i'm just going to put ga4 email link click and then i'm going to save that once we save that i can close down these preview windows and then I can reopen them and just do some testing again. So I'm gonna reconnect our domain, so our website, and then I'm gonna go back over to the contact page. And once again, I'm gonna click this link and I'm gonna get diverted again to my email provider, which you may do as well. Come back over, go to your tag assistant tab, and then we can see that it has fired on the summary but let's actually click to see whether it fired on the right thing. So we wanted to build it on this link click, right? So we can go link click and we can see that it succeeded. Great, fantastic. That's working, that's set up, that's fine. Now, what we need to do is also check that Google Analytics is actually seeing that just to make sure. So if we go back to Google Analytics, we can go over to the debug view on Google Analytics and we can and should see straight away. yeah there it is right link click email that's our event now if you wanted to add that as a conversion in your google ad uh, google analytics for account then you can click on that event copy this information of what the event name is okay head to conversions a new conversion event and just paste that name in and then save, okay? Then that would be marked as a conversion. So next time GA4 starts to see that and see that event, GA4 is gonna then mark that as a conversion. So that'll be included in your conversions report. However, always bear in mind with email link clicks is that they are, they're good for obviously monitoring and measuring how many people are clicking on an email address to get in touch but it doesn't tell you if those people actually got in touch whereas a form submission would which is why a lot of people prefer form submissions is because we know when a form submission has actually been sent and submitted successfully whereas an email address link click does not tell us if that has actually been received by the business right um so you may actually not want to have that as a conversion because actually it's not necessarily as a valuable, a, a, a valuable action to your business compared to say a completed and successful form submission uh, or a purchase or something like that. But that's of course up to you. That's totally in your, um, yeah, that's, that's up to you. That's up to you in your business. Um, the main thing that we need to remember before we finish the most important thing that you don't forget is you head back over to Google Tag Manager. Once you've done your tests, you then need to make sure that you submit that container and that you submit that workspace and that 
basically you publish those changes to be live on your website. So I'm going to add it, email, link, click, GA4 event. I'm going to publish that and then that's going to publish live to your site. Now the amount of times where people have set up tracking and they get to it and then they go away, close all their tabs and then they come back and they go, oh why is my tracking not working? The amount of times where you see that they've done everything correctly but they actually haven't published the container and the container's been sitting there, it hasn't gone live on their site. So that's a, a common mistake that's often, you know, that can be easily made. Um, so just make sure that you always remember to publish your container when you've made changes and you're happy and you've done your testing. And that's it, so there we go. That's the uh, quickest way I can show you. Easy. It's really easy, really simple to set up email, uh, link click tracking. Um, I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen, come back over. Quick seat, around 10 minutes, brilliant. Um, thanks for watching, please obviously like and subscribe and you'll get notified about um, new videos that are coming out and some more tracking videos that we'll do. Thanks for stopping by, I hope that was helpful and uh, yeah, I'll see you again soon.